Do I look stressed? Because if I look stressed, it's because I am stressed with this frigging car exhaust. This car exhaust drives me to the point of insanity. And it's my daily. It's too much. Nobody needs that. Nobody needs that much noise. What is going down, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, if you can hear, I've got a stuffy nose. I think it's the weather changing. Going from hot to cold, cold to hot, hot to cold. I'm back in the garage. I hope you're excited about me being back in the garage. It's a bit of a classic statement, but hit the thumbs up button if you're hyped on being back in the garage. A bit creased, because I've been wearing it all day, but they're oversized in every way. At the moment, on owner, we've got a deal going, which is a free cap with every single t-shirt or hoodie. So if you're ordering one of our gangster oversized aqua blue t-shirts, add your favorite snapback, cap, beanie, any headwear, and you'll get it for free, completely free. That's how good the deal is. Let's get straight into today's vlog and I'll see you back at the garage once we're done. Hi, my beautiful people. Listen, I know you were thinking this is gonna be a nice, peaceful vlog to chill out. No. We are going for a spin in the R36 and you are going to listen to how insane this car sounds. It makes me feel like I'm going to have a breakdown. Let's do some casual rev noises. I feel like you should be able to feel the vibration in this car from that noise. This video is quite a painful video to film. I'm not going to lie. Do I look stressed? Because if I look stressed, it's because I am stressed with this frigging car exhaust. This car exhaust drives me to the point of insanity. And it's my daily. Let's go. It's too much. Nobody needs that. Nobody needs that much noise. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? And you want me to tell you what's worse? When I bought the car, Right, we've got to pull out. Yep, I'm sorry mate, on the side of the road there. I didn't want to do a TE either. What's the most annoying thing about this car exhaust is when I bought the R36 Passat. Right, when I bought the car, I got given two silencer boxes, but I threw them away. And the reason I threw them away is because they were cut a bit janky and I thought, I'm never going to deal with that. Oh boy, do I wish I kept them exhausts. Because this car would not be this loud, but I think it comes from deeper within. I think it's in here somewhere, it needs a centre box put on in. I'll show you. Say we're driving along now, we're in sixth gear, we're going to down gear to about third gear. That's third gear, 40 mile an hour, and all I can hear is the drone of the exhaust. I'm even shouting at the top of my lungs to make this piece of content. I hope you're having a nice day if there's a passenger over there. It's that loud that I could lose my mind. And it feels nice to admit for the first time that I absolutely hate the straight pipe. How's that for you? So in the future of this channel, we are going to be silencing the R36 Passat and I want it as far away from this noise as it can possibly be. I'd have a standard exhaust over this exhaust. It is too loud. Send help. And on that note, it's so loud. It's so loud. It sounds so good, but it is too loud. It is too effing loud. I've just lost my mind for about three minutes and I'm going to upload it because it's going to be funny. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show the Passat some love by giving it a little wash. Stay tuned. Okay. We're in a civilised area. There's a lot of wildlife. There's a lot of nice farmer's fields. exhaust nobody <sighs> too much send help I need the exhaust fixing ASAP send help I'm going to 
gonna show you right now in this video what I currently do at a minimum of twice a day because of this car. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you really quickly what I have to do every single time I've been out for an afternoon in the Passat and today is another one of those days. <laughs> I have to get myself two fresh little paracetamol tablets. Little freshies like that. Not one, not one. One doesn't cure the headache of a straight pipe, but two. You need two. And then if you're lucky enough and you have to nip to the shop, it might mask the next trip out. In all seriousness, I have just had a full scale rant, but I hope it's a clear, definitive warning to anyone that thinks a straight pipe exhaust is cool on a big engine like an R36 or an R32. Don't do it to yourself. Don't even do it to any of your cars. Don't straight pipe your cars. It's ridiculous. Don't do it. It hurts. It gets old fast and it begins to eat you up from the inside, from right in here somewhere, miles inside the cog. Starts rattling your brain. Okay, welcome to a brand new episode on this YouTube channel. Today, we are doing my favorite hobby of all time. And we are detailing cars at Detail Garage Preston. Shout out Chemical Guys UK for letting me come and scrounge all their products, their jet wash, their Hoover, their steamer, all their bits and pieces. I'm gonna show you the store in case you've never been in here. We've got Jack working hard behind the till, doing bits. This is their store. They do detail and bits over here, and they got millions of products. Everything you would need, this is a detailer's dream. Anyway, back to what we're here for today. So, obviously, I've wanted to come out for the day and come to a cool spot and do some pretty insane detailing. Now, the Passat is looking rough, and when I say rough, I mean rough. Check it. Some absolute pterodactyl has pooed all over it. I don't think it's been washed since I was last here, which is probably... I'm gonna say it's a minimum of a month ago, and it is absolutely rotten. And I've got the space, the equipment, and the camera to take you along for the ride. Let's get straight into this. I'm gonna to start today's episode by showing you some of the insane dirt on this car. Wheels are looking grimy. Look at this. That is not okay. An absolute mammoth of a bird. Some sort of pterodactyl has pooed all over the Passat. Dinosaur. More bird poo over this side. More bird poo on the roof. Every wheel is absolutely savaged. Start with, let's do the wheels first. We're gonna start with wheels. Let's clean these wheels up and let's get this thing a little bit cleaner. I've been out loads recently. I've been going to loads of different places, doing loads of cool stuff. I drove all the way to Scotland, to the Botanic Gardens in Glasgow. What else did I do? I went to Ingleton Falls, to the waterfalls. I've been doing loads of cool stuff. So my cars have been getting it bad. Let's get straight into this. Let's get some cool cleaning done. Can't wash the wheels unless we raise the Passat. Let's raise this bad boy. Damn! Man's got ride height. So, we're raised. We're gonna set up some buckets some wheel cleaner, a jet wash, and we're gonna wash wheels to start with. Let's go. This is just a basic maintenance wash. I'm gonna show you what goes into this. Passat R36. We'll do some engine noises towards the end as well, stay tuned. Okay, we're starting out with some wheel cleaner. This is called Signature Series Wheel Cleaner. This is just the first non-contact clean we're gonna do. We're just gonna drench these wheels up in this pretty strong wheel cleaner. 
I'll do all four of these and then I'll come back and rinse one of them off and show you on camera. Everyone's does it. Look at the state. Look at the state of these wheels. Not acceptable. Things have gone downhill. Damn, that's from a zero contact pressure washer. Looks pretty cool. Electric bad boy. Some of you will recognize this van. This van was my van on CVTs. Chemical guys bought this van off me and I bought the R36 Passat with the cash, but they've now wrapped the van in matte black and kept the wheels the same. That was my old van and they put like some high gloss graphics on it. Looks pretty cool. Slammed out on CVTs. Still got the same interior, single, Single seat Mark 7 with an Edition 38 steering wheel. Pretty cool van. Alright, we're using Diablo in a high spray foam bottle. As you can see, giving the wheels a nice little soap coat. Like, I'm sorry, I know you never tuned in today to look at bear poo, but my good God, who has that much poo in them? And that, and that, and that. Okay, so we are gonna start with, as you've just seen, all the bear poo is now officially gone. It already looks cleaner which I'm happy about. I'm going to be using clean slate, but I'm going to use it as a snow foam. You can use this either as a shampoo or a snow foam. Um, kind of guess anything really that you want to use it for. However, we're going to use it as a snow foam and we're going to absolutely layer it on the R36 Passat, which is going to be pretty cool. It is ready for snow foam goodness. We've got the cannon. We've got a uh, clean slate inside the cannon and we are about to snow foam the Passat. I'm gonna put yous on the POV spec. Let's go. And then the fun part, let it clean itself. Have a little walk around, enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Look at it, living the dream. The Passat's not never gonna have been so clean in its life. Waxes, soaps, you can't even see me, can you? <laughs> that dirty. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, we've got a bit of rain, but check it, blueberry snow foam auto wash. This is what we're using as today's vehicle shampoo. It is raining, which means one thing, this is not any longer a proper wash. This is a half dirty wash, half clean wash. But it's still better than the condition that this car was. I'll take it. It is official. I've been rained off. This cannot continue. I wanted to hoover the inside. I wanted to do all the other bits. And we are now in torrential rain. So we're gonna switch up this vlog. I'm a bit gutted because I wanted to do this insane today. At least I've got an exterior wash on, which means it's nice and clean. In the future, I would like to do some garage mods. I would like to get involved and do some more stuff where we actually modify the garage and add pretty cool bits to it or do some new look stuff for the garage, maybe plaster the walls or something crazy or relay the floor, just something different. This is sort of my first vlog. Uh, I've done like one vlog in like four months that hasn't been a BMX episode. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs from now on. So I literally just wanted to put a bit of an entry level vlog out, updating you on a few bits. I know in this video we've talked about the Passat straight pipe that's getting swerved. We've talked about my garage. We've washed the Passat, well half washed the Passat, didn't really work out. However, that brings us to the end of the first vlog. I'm going to put another one up in the next couple of days. So there should be like two or three a week. Um, I just want to remind each and every single one of you that there is a crazy deal on owner right now, which is a free cap or beanie or any other headwear snapback. Any headwear you get completely free with every t-shirt or hoodie that you're ordering. So add your favourite hoodie, add your favourite snapback and you'll get the snapback for free. Cap, beanie, whatever. Thanks for the support, it means a lot. If you can't find us, just type in owner on Google, we're right at the top. Get involved. Thanks for the support. Make sure you tune back in for the next video in a couple of days. Peace out.